Okay, so working on the turn signal, the 52 Ford, we just got a, uh, just brought a brand new one. It's a Chinese knockoff of a signal stand. It's plastic. We just got it off Amazon. Uh, so the original, or the one I had, uh, did not work. I even took it apart and it was still shorting out places. So there's something drastically wrong with it. But this is just a cheapie, but if it works, it works. If it doesn't, uh, we'll just replace it with something better. Um, but it's from Amazon. It was like 35 bucks, 39 bucks, something like that. Um, so then I got to hook it up to my Speedway wiring harness. The Speedway wiring harness, you get a flasher for... The uh, hazards and a separate flasher for the turn signals. Some kits might have uh, it all in one. These are only two prong uh, flashers, so it's one or the other. So, and every what all the wires uh, on that are all are all uh, labeled. I just have to go on Amazon. They have the wiring diagram for this. And match them up. This is seven wires. So and I got seven wires for the speedway. So it should work pretty good It just mounts to the steering column With the clamp and And so it'll sit Roughly there and instead of having the wires just running all the way down here and seeing them if you can see, I, put, I drilled a hole in the in that uh, rod. That was the uh, old shift tube for the. It had three on the tree, so I just cut it short, and I'm gonna have my wires going there, and then then down here and underneath the dash, so you won't see them as much. You'll see just a little bit behind here. Uh, just make it a little neater. But I'm gonna mount that and so that's just mounting it with the the clamp so i'll show you that after mounting it and i'll start hooking up some of the wires okay turn signal is mounted and you can see the wires underneath here going into the tube and then i just got some plastic a short piece of plastic conduit some better light and on each one I put a removable connector I didn't put a butt connector that's so if there's any problems down the road I can just take that off separately I don't have to start cutting wires uh, so it makes it easier um, I got all my uh, I just started hooking up the wires that's the front and there's the the rest of the wires and then that'll just get tucked underneath the, underneath the dash uh, after i test it of course but i need turn signals mounted before i test it which i don't have hey uh back working on the 52 ford uh for kevin uh we bought a for the shifter, a B&M uh, shifter, uh, I think, yeah, Ryan bought it off of uh, uh, or uh, Amazon. Um, so it was originally we wanted to like Kevin wanted a, like a long, like a low car, like a long shifter, but those things are just way, way too much. Uh, so we settled on this. It's a decent height. Um, Comes with good instructions. It's a, it's a cable. It's a cable uh, controlled one. It's got all the all the brackets. You can hook it for Chevy, Ford, Dodge transmissions. The instructions look pretty good. Uh, so we're just gonna attempt to put that in. You gotta cut a obviously cut a hole in your uh, floor if you don't have one. Uh, but we're gonna hook up the cable linkage and then. Go from there. 
So we'll get Derek to go underneath and he'll start putting all the little brackets and stuff for the cable hook up to the transmission and we'll film that. Exciting work. And the kit does come with uh, all the bolts. Uh, it comes with, uh, so you don't have to use the original uh, pan bolts. And it comes with metric and standard in case you have a metric transmission. Which this seems to be half metric, half standard. The pan bolts are standard The and uh, part of the... Uh, the clamps for the uh, speedo are metric. I'll get a lock washer on that in a minute. Uh, okay. Just putting the cable. Water pin holds it, then they give you a lot of free play with the cable and lots of adjustments and the cable if it's too long you just, we're just going to, if it's, well, well once we get the shift room, if it's too long we'll just coil it up on top of the uh, transmission, away from the exhaust. Okay, just getting ready to put... Uh, the uh, tail lights on this thing and so I can hook up the wires and see if uh, my turn signal my cheap turn signal switch will work I've got the front wired up um, so basically that's the pivot for the tailgate that goes there and then we have these aftermarket chrome brackets that go on the back I had to elongate uh, the holes in there to fit here 
since these ones came off a, I think a 48 or 49, I think it was a 49 Ford, and they're a little bit bigger, and it was a three quarter ton, so a little bit bigger. Um, because the aftermarket ones were, we bought aftermarket ones, reproduction ones, and they're cheap as garbage. They look horrible. They were just tin, basically. They weren't solid. Um, so then I went and I'm going to make a gasket for this side. And I'll probably make one for the other side, too. Just so no paint gets prevented from rusting. So I just made that out of my trusty... Uh, garage door gasket uh, material and uh, i think it'll all work perfectly and then we have a license plate bracket that will hang about right there and these are aftermarket these are very nice looking these are from dennis carpenter i think these look excellent they're you can get them all chrome or but we uh, decided to get bl black and chrome rings, but they're glass or they might be plastic, I, but they feel like glass almost. But they have the they're very nice. I think these are these might not. I don't know if they're Chinese built, but they're I don't think so because the even the the pigtails they're all uh, cloth uh, old style cloth uh, covered uh, wires. So. So I'm going to, I got to make another gasket. I made this one for this side. So I'm going to make another one for the other side and we'll put it together. Okay. So I made another gasket that'll go on this side. This will go on the back. Uh, you may or may not need it. I just like it because it's metal on metal and preventing from the, the, the paint to get chipped and then rust grits underneath there and all that stuff so first thing is two bolts and my gasket me oh, we got a gasket that's gonna go like so put the gasket on first A washer, a lock washer, and I forgot nuts. Now I got nuts. So. Washer goes on first. Tighten those up, and this will go like so, and that, like that. So, it just needs to be tightened up. I'm going to tighten this side up, make this side permanent. The other side, I'm going to leave um, just loose, uh, just because we have to put the tailgate on anyways once it's all done but 
that's what I'll bolt the light on and I'll show you what it looks like. Hey, okay, uh, Derek's just getting ready to, to uh, cut the uh, floor pan. This is the transmission cover. Uh, we test fitted the, the crusty seat in here and we have plenty of clearance and the um, instructions have a little thing you cut out and that's your template so he's marked that out. So he's going to cut that out with a die grinder. And we'll see if the uh, it actually uh, fits. Where you may have to raise the uh, shifter up because it might. This part may hit the tr the top of the transmission. Okay, Derek's just getting ready to cut. And as you can see, oh, we've got to get new. Well, not a new gas tank, but gas tank's all nice and painted in there. might be good we don't it looks like we have enough room oh okay I guess the transmission don't dip down there because there's oh, that's good. I can stick my I, hand, whole hand in there I know I boo-booed you oh, oh yeah that that's good so oh I just gotta open up a little bit more yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta open up a little bit more. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Pardon me. Perfect. I think that's gonna Work good. Okay. And that's the neutral safety switch, which I gotta wire up. I gotta splice one of the ignition cables somewhere. I think B and M got it right. Yeah, it's gonna be easier than I Okay, we've got the shifter all in. Um, the shifter cable is attached to the uh, shifter and everything. Everything went good. It basically attaches the same way as the uh, on the transmission portion. So it's not, it just loops around. Yeah, it goes, loops around and then comes into, it comes in this way. 
but we found a problem. Uh, yeah, Derek can shift that. Yeah, that's a problem. The floor uh, flexes too much. So what we're going to do underneath, we're going to put a piece of angle iron from here to here, weld it to spot weld it to the floor, and then bolt. And then the bolts will go through the angle iron on both sides, and that should stiff. Hopefully, that should stiffen up. So we're going to try that. <laughs> but other than that, it's a uh, pretty easy installation. The instructions are actually good. They are, the bolts that come with it are actually good. Yeah, the boot looks good. Still got to drill the holes for the boot, but... Did it come with a ring or is that just... No ring. No ring. Okay, no ring. But other than that... I like it. Yeah, no, no complaint for a universal kit. Yeah, it's a universal. I think it was three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred bucks. Three hundred Canadian. Yeah, it's just a universal B and M automatic shifter. So that's perfect for this truck. It's not too, it's not like too low or anything, but uh, yeah, so we're going to, yeah, stick the angle iron on there and see how that fixes our problem. Okay, right, so got the taillights all on, uh, everything's wired, everything's working. I'll uh, show you. That's the taillights. Here's the brake lights, and I got the turn signals to work. I'm well, very happy to happy about that. That took a little bit of uh, uh, fixing. I fixed the originally the turn signal wasn't uh, doing anything, wasn't flashing anything. And it turns out that this one, um, or the Speedway uh, wiring harness, can comes with two flashers. One flasher specific for uh, the turn signals, one's for hazard. And I had them reversed, so that was an easy fix. I just had to play with a, f a few things, test a few things, but that's all working. The front is all wired, works, headlights work, everything works. Uh, so that's a bonus. Uh, Derek's got the shifter all working. We even uh, put a new. I had to splice the wire going to the uh, starter solenoid to go into the neutral. There's a neutral safety switch under the switcher, under the shifter. So that's working. Uh, we tested it and it. Uh, we can crank it over uh, in park and neutral. So that's excellent. There. There's lots of adjustments in the in the shifter, um, so it was pretty easy. Uh, just follow the instructions. They give you lots of brackets for you can. The shifter can work with a Ford or a Dodge or a Chevy. There's they give you lots of brackets for every transmission, so I think it was a pretty good shifter. Um, it did come actually with with a chrome plate. Uh, we uh, missed it in the box. Forgot it was in the box. It was underneath all the all the all the good stuff in there. So so it's getting there. Um, we still haven't started it. Uh, hopefully this weekend we're gonna. Now that we've rebuilt the car, we just gotta put put that back on and uh, hook up some vacuum lines and um, get a top rad hose, and we should be good to go. So hopefully this Sunday in a couple of days we'll be starting this thing because the exhaust is all done. Uh, we have a drive shaft in there right now, but it's two inches too long, we think. Uh, Kevin's managed to find another one that should be the right size. So we're going to test that on the weekend too and put that in there. So it should be uh, possibly a running and driving uh, chassis uh, on Sunday which would be 
awesome to see this thing move under its own power. And we've test fitted, again, we said that earlier, we, we put the old seat in here. It's, it was very crusty. Uh, just so made sure the shifter doesn't hit it, but we're good. Everything's excellent today, actually. We've got lots of shit done. So, uh, like, I, like Corey says, uh, subscriptions are free. So, uh, so please subscribe, comment, uh, ask us questions, whatever you want to do. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you, uh, I guess, probably Sunday. Uh, and we'll try and get this thing running.